Thanks. Chris basically did my whole presentation, so we're done. Awesome. Thanks. Uh, like Chris said, my name's Josh. I'm a co-founder of a local company called Plunk. Um, and I want to tell a little story before I get into my presentation. I've been going to a lot of conferences where the, where the discussion was around tech and music and how the two really weren't figuring each other out. They just didn't play nice together. And the discussion was really around monetizing, right? Spotify wasn't paying bands, Pandora wasn't paying bands, so how do you kind of just get away from the monetized part and figure out how to engage your fans better? And so that's basically where Punk came, Plunk came in. We're a marketing firm using an emergency, emerging technology to create meaningful and valuable experiences. And the way we're doing that is through, uh, just, there's a myriad of APIs out there. Um, but I'll, I'll get to that. And right now, like uh, Chris said, we're just a team of five. Burke is back there, so you can make him uh, feel welcome. He's our, our creative chief officer. And we have people strung all over the place. Uh, but why now? You know, the days of solving problems using software is now. You know, if, if a friend of mine told me that if it could be brought into software, the problem can be solved. And we're at that point now. There are just so many tools and APIs out there that you can piece things together and make a really um, amazing product uh, in of, of itself. So, so that's sort of our game plan. Um, and so one of the things that we did was we were at the Super Bowl and Pepsi created this whole thing called Pep City. And they basically turned Bryant Park into a big dome. And so they had this big dome and they had this uh, really cool tent that had gourmet food made by these gourmet chefs using Pepsi products. One of my favorite was the cherry Pepsi braised uh, wings, which were amazing, and, uh, and Mountain Dew bacon, which sounds completely gross, but it was amazing. <laughs> but anyway, um, the art installation that was part of this was called the Blackout. And basically what it was was these five uh, windows. And it was uh, each, five wind each of the windows told a story about the people that lived in New York. And they were all synced up. And they all played as a synchronous thing. And, um, and it was seven minutes that played. And it all centered around the super, which I don't know if anybody knows who that is. That's Steven Weber from Wings. Elizabeth Berkeley was part of this as well. Um, uh, Gary Baseman, who's a really amazing, talented artist, was also one of the windows as well. But the super was sort of the center character to this whole thing. And like I said, the whole video itself was seven minutes long. It was just music, no audio at all. And what we did was we were trying to find a way to enhance this experience. Because by itself, it was a pretty amazing experience. It was just a video, but it told a really poignant story. And the super, the center character, was really trying to figure out how to balance his personal life and watch the Super Bowl and take care of all of his tenants. So what we did was we built a Twilio app. And we basically took a Twilio number and we enabled the audience to text back and forth with the super using regular expressions, and it felt as if you were texting the super. And Stephen Weber actually recorded a little MP3, which we used, and they could just call, and they could hear Stephen Weber's voice. And it was the only way you could hear his character, which was kind of cool. Uh, Ziggy Marley also performed, which was really cool. But, uh, but that was how we were part of the Super Bowl. And it was a, a week-long event. Like I said, they took up uh, Bryant Park, and it was, it was pretty interesting. So this is some of the pictures. This was the, uh, the windows here that you can see. And uh, this is the crew from 601 Studios that hired us out to do this. Uh, and then just a really cool Pepsi sign that I saw. So I took a picture of So as uh, Chris said, these are some of the customers that we have currently in development. Cold Cock Whiskey, uh, Live Nation down in the San Francisco Bay Area, Warp Tour we're doing an app for, Muscle Milk. And uh, we've done this, we started in September. Uh, we just started this company. Uh, actually, I just got the LLC paperwork and the EIN paperwork last week. So we're really, really new. Um, so this is what we're doing. We're, we're creating meaningful experiences between a brand engagement and their audience. And we believe that, how many have ever gone to a concert and seen that? Anyone? I see that all the time. That drives me nuts. But engage them. Create a two-way conversation, and that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to take brands that have a fan engagement and, and use that as a way to engage them both ways. So